Hey everybody, I'm Derek Chappelle, you're watching Derek Does, and I apologize in advance if the light, like the random like light and shadows and stuff on my body is distracting. It's kind of like distracting me in the viewfinder, but that's what you get when you film in front of a window. Today I'm going to be talking about my coming out story. It was half good, half not so good. First off, I want to start by saying if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every Friday. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys didn't know already, I came out when I was 18 and I kind of lined, ooh, did it just get dark? Ugh, this lighting is gonna be so annoying in this video. I kind of lined my coming out like to my parents with my second tattoo. When I was 18, I got my first tattoo. And then like a couple months later, I got my second one. My parents went with me to get my first one, and they wanted it to be like the only tattoo that I had. They only wanted me to have like one tattoo, like they were not really for it, like didn't want me to ink up my body. And then when I got my second one, I got it without them knowing. It just kind of like worked out that I was coming out at the same time, and I figured I will tell them about the tattoo and about my sexuality, at the same time, so if they're mad at anything, I hope to God it would be the tattoo. I remember I was upstairs and I called down to my dad and I said, hey, dad, like, I need to talk to you and mom. And so they both like went and sat down in the living room and like I was kind of like peeking around the corner upstairs just because, um, I don't know, like you can obviously see it. So the moon was my second tattoo and when I was calling for them, I was kind of hiding like around the corner just so that they like wouldn't see my arm yet. I'm walking down the stairs and it's like a pretty big that pretty big tattoo, like it's a decent size. And I remember my mom's eyes just like were so wide when she saw me walking down the stairs and like it was the day after I got it, so it was still red and just like crazy and it's like oh god. I go, I have two things to tell you guys. One, as you can already tell, I got a second tattoo. It's of a moon. I really like it. Please don't be mad. And they were a little bit, like, not on board with it. But at the same time, like, what are they going to do? I already have it on my arm. Like, so they weren't, like, crazy mad. And then the second thing was, I was like, um, I'm dating somebody. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, and that somebody is a guy. It was like awkward, but it's not as awkward as it could have been. And they were just kind of like taking it in and they were like, okay. When I came out to my parents, I just kind of told them about my life that they didn't know anything about, like as like my gay life, if that makes sense. And then they were asking me questions, like how long did I know? Um, and just like the typical like parent stuff but overall they were accepting and that's all I could have asked for them at the end of the conversation I told them that I have no problem answering any questions that they have I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with them that's just like my thing in life is being honest it's just so much easier I don't mind any questions like nothing is off the table I just kind of want you guys to understand that while I'll never be able to understand how your guys' brain works with only being attracted to the opposite sex. You guys, because you are that way, you'll never be able to understand how my brain works, like only being attracted to the same sex. So I was like, I want to be like on that level with you guys, but that's, we're never going to be like that close where we like totally understand each other. All I'm asking is for respect and acceptance if you guys <laughs> choose to accept it and that's all I can ask and they were very accepting my mom told me that like deep down in her heart she always knew and I guess that's just like a mother's thing that I don't know like she knew before I knew I didn't know my sexuality until I was like 18 and I could like physically act on it just because everybody knows like who's attractive and who's not like it sounds shallow but like, if some, I don't know, like, if somebody has a six-pack, for example, that's not 
a society thing to like turn down that's not like oh that's ugly like six packs ew like people can tell who's good looking and who's like from society I guess um and so I never really knew like how true what I was feeling was I didn't know if I could just tell like which guys like were cute and, <laughs> and which guys weren't cute or if there was like more to that like I didn't know until I like physically acted on it. And then that's when I had my concrete answer. Third time I'm filming this. Coming out to my parents was great. Coming out to the rest of my family was different and kind of didn't go down the way I wanted it to. I was basically like outed to the rest of my family um, or like my grandparents. If you guys wanna know about that, just let me know down in the comments what video you want to see and then I can explain more in a different one. And I just want to finish this video by saying that if you are in the closet or questioning your sexuality or going through any like thing like that, that's okay. And you don't need an answer now. You don't need an answer tomorrow. You don't need to feel like, or like you shouldn't feel like you have to come out to anybody like, I want you guys to like remember, especially like my viewers that are going through questioning their sexuality. It's your sexuality. The only acceptance you need is yours and that's it. You don't need your parents to accept you. You don't need your grandparents to accept you. You don't need your friends to accept you. The only acceptance you need is yours. At the end of the day, you're the one like going to sleep, you're the one waking up, you're the one like living in this body that you have for only a short amount of time while you're like on this earth. You only need your acceptance. I really want you guys to like be okay with that. Be okay if it is like only yourself that you're getting the acceptance from. Like if you do come out and you are discriminated and your parents don't accept it or your grandparents don't accept it or I don't know what the situation is. I just want you guys to know that like you really, you're with yourself <laughs> all the time. You only need to accept yourself and that's it. Anybody else's acceptance is just a bonus. It's not needed to have like a happy, successful life. I love all my viewers, especially like the ones that are going through difficult times like I've I've been there I've been in the closet I've struggled with my sexuality and wondering like what is all this like when it didn't make sense like I've been there but yeah I just want to leave this video with tons and tons of love um in honor of like national coming out day and stuff like this week um I felt like it was really important to make this video and just let it be like another source for you guys. I know that helped me a lot when I was getting ready to come out. It was watching YouTube videos and just kind of like building up that courage through other people that were talking about going through what I was going through. Again, if you have any questions or just want to talk, comment down below. I'm getting back to all of you guys. And that's all I have for today's video. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys my next video on Friday. Please have a safe, awesome weekend. I love you guys so much and remember that boundaries are through habit.